Welcome back and good morning to you. It's 514. All eyes on the tropics, but I do want to start locally very quickly to get you kicked off this week. We have hot weather, high humidity, and just a couple of showers. Still not really feeling like fall, though. It is officially fall now. So 90 today, 89 tomorrow, 89 on Wednesday with a better chance for rain Wednesday into Thursday. Now this tropical system will likely bring the biggest impacts to Florida. As we get into the Thursday time frame, confidence has been growing that this is more of a Florida problem rather than a central Gulf Coast problem. So here's what it looks like this morning. It's an unorganized area of showers and storms. It's still in its formative stages, but we do think this is going to become a depression, a storm and eventually a hurricane as it enters the Gulf. When does it get to the Gulf? Probably late Tuesday into Wednesday uh, morning. Here's what it looks like on satellite. You can see there just some showers and storms trying to wrap up. Hurricane hunters are going to fly into it this afternoon, see if they can find a well developed circulation. So here's the steering currents with this system and why we think it's going to turn to the north and then eventually up towards Florida. Now right now it's currently sitting under a ridge of high pressure, slowly going to move to the northwest. Eventually though, it's going to start to make that turn to the north as a upper level trough of low pressure pulls down over the Gulf Coast. This will weaken the ridge and that's why this feature will start to make that turn. Now as it makes this turn, this is Wednesday, it's going to also start to speed up as it starts to get really slingshotted around this trough of low pressure. So what this trough will do is save us from a landfall it looks like, but it would push the storm towards Florida, maybe the Panhandle, Big Bend, and even parts of the peninsula like Tampa and to the north are keeping an eye for landfall for this. It looks to be Thursday and then it moving inland as we go into Friday. Our tropical models, when you look at them, you can see there they are clustered well to our east somewhere in Florida. Once again, from the Panhandle, but there are several models that maybe are coming in closer to the Big Bend or maybe just north of Tampa. So these areas are keeping a very close eye on maybe a landfalling major hurricane by Thursday, and there are signs that this could be fairly strong. So today and tomorrow, it's going to be in those formative stages. You can see there today it's trying to wrap up. Once once we get into Tuesday, if you have travel plans down to Cozumel, Cancun, Havana, that's when you will see impacts likely from probably a tropical storm. And then once it gets into the Gulf here, that core really gets together and then it's off to the races with intensification. Here we are Wednesday afternoon and then it starts to make that turn to the north, speeding up and then heading towards Florida as we head into Thursday. Of course, this would keep everything well east of us and in fact, it would bring us some nicer weather by the end of the week. So coming in Wednesday and Thursday, we got this weak front coming in with that trough of low pressure. Uh, what that does is pulls in some dry air behind the hurricane. So we will have some nicer feeling air as we head in towards the end of this week. I think by Friday into Saturday and Sunday, we really could have some nice weather. It's still going to be warm in the 80s, but with low humidity, it'll feel a lot nicer. So our seven day forecast, we're going to be watching for a better chance for some rain Wednesday and Thursday. That's as that Trough of low pressure that's saving us from the storm starts to move in with that weak front. That'll knock our temperatures down and our humidity down by the end of the week. So we go from the upper 80s and low 90s into the 80s here as we head into the end of the weekend and the upcoming weekend here is looking a lot better. So once again, this looks like it could be a fairly significant storm for Florida. There's just uncertainty on exactly where the worst of it will move inland until we get that well defined center. There's going to be some uncertainty in that part. And of course, here in Mississippi, Louisiana, we are keeping a close eye to make sure there's no big changes. But right now we're feeling better this morning for our area, but Florida may not be a good scenario. Our marine forecast is going to be calm to kick off the week. I'm sure the Gulf waters will get choppy by the end as that hurricane continues to develop. Your high tide is going to happen this morning and your low tide is this afternoon.